Hello and welcome my dear students. Today I am going to discuss about the topic gene expression system. What is gene expression system? In this video I would cover the following contents. The introduction about gene expression system, mechanism of gene expression, definition, non-viral gene transfer, viral gene transfer etc. So let us now discuss in detail about gene expression system, how it works. Gene expression system, it is a complex series of processes in which the information encoded in a gene is used to produce a function product such as protein. Gene expression is assumed to be controlled at various points in the sequence leading to protein synthesis. The central dogma of life, DNA after transcription converts into RNA or produces RNA. In transcription, the synthesis of an RNA copy of a segment of DNA is produced, is formed. Upon translation of RNA, protein is synthesized and protein is folded. Mechanism Transcription Transcription means the conversion of DNA to RNA is known as transcription. Post-transcriptional modification and splicing RNA transport translation or protein synthesis and protein folding. So these are the process of mechanism or these are the steps involved in the mechanism. Two steps of gene expression. First one is transcription, another is translation. In transcription, DNA is read to make a mRNA, matlab messenger RNA in the nucleus. Whereas in translation, messenger RNA is read to make a protein in the cytoplasm. So here is a diagram of gene expression. Gene expression, if we define gene expression, it is a process in which information in DNA is altered into functional product of gene is called gene expression and DNA is converted into RNA which turn into a protein. So final product would be a protein. Now let us discuss about non-viral gene transfer. In non-viral gene transfer there are various methods involved like injection of naked DNA. There are various physical methods to enhance delivery like electroporation, gene gun, microinjection, hydrodynamic delivery. Whereas in chemical methods to enhance delivery, chemical methods include oligonucleotides, lipoplexis, dendrimers, inorganic nanoparticles, cell penetrating peptides. So what is the method of injection of naked DNA? It is the simplest method of non-viral transfection. Expression rate is very low as compared to other methods. Cellular uptake of naked DNA is generally inefficient, only possible for certain tissues, requires large amount of DNA. Different methods like electroporation and use of a gene gun can be used for direct injection of naked DNA. This is a diagram which elaborates the injection of naked DNA. Direct gene transfer technology. Here, this is a DNA plasmid. We take DNA plasmid. Bacterial fermentation is there and isolation. 
now let us look at this point we take dna plasmids and gene based drug is transferred directly to the patient or administered to the patients so this is called direct gene transfer technology means in this technique we can directly transfer gene through a gene based drug in physical methods physical methods to enhance delivery physical methods involves or includes gene gun method gene gun method in this method dna is coated on gold particles and loaded into a device which is similar to gun and it generates force by which it can penetrate into the cell micro injection in this method this method is refers to the process of using micro pipette to inject the desired gene in sonoporation in this method ultrasonic frequency is to deliver dna into cells whereas in chemical methods to enhance delivery oligonucleotides in this method to inactivate genes involved in disease process this method is used to inactivate genes involved in disease process different approaches are used for oligonucleotides based gene therapy first one is using antisense specific to the target gene which disrupts the dis transcription of faculty genes another technique is by using siRNA to signal the cell to cleave specific sequences in the mRNA transcript of the faculty genes or sorry faulty genes which results in disruption of translation above also it was written the faulty genes transcription of faulty genes here is a small correction likewise this is faulty genes dendrimers it is highly branched macromolecule with a spherical shape it is possible to construct a cationic dendrimers such as for example one with a positive surface charge dna or rna with opposite charge winds with cationic dendrimers on reaching its destination the dendrimer nucleic acid complex is then taken into the cell via endocytosis process let us now discuss about viral vector transfer virus are obligate intracellular parasites very efficient at transferring viral dna into host cells specific target cells depending on the attachment proteins like uh, capsid or glycoproteins adeno viral vectors these are non enveloped dna 36 kilobases early proteins like e1a e1b e2 e3 and e4 and late proteins l1 to l5 causes a beginning respiratory infections in human and serotypes 2 and 5 are commonly used as vectors retroviral vector molonemurin leukemia virus generation of replication defective retroviral vector transfer plasmid vector gene of interest long terminal repeats primer binding site and packaging vector adeno associated virus vector these are non pathogenic human parvovirus non enveloped ss dna virus 4.6 kilobases and dependent on helper virus for replication so it was all about the gen gene expression system hope you all like this video hit the like button subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon if you have any kind of questions please write below in the comment section so thanks for watching this video